ثالث دايبيتك كيس دكتوره خلود محمد استشاري السكر والوضع الصماء في تامين اسكندريه اتشرف جدا بتقديم حضرتك اتفضل يا فندم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بحب أحيي دكتور أستاذ دكتور سامح على المؤتمر الجميل وعلى النجاح العظيم للمؤتمر أحب أحيي أساتذتي والتشير بيرسونز وأشارك معاكم الكيس بتاعة حمزة حمزة 11 years old boy first time we met him on February 2020 he was diagnosed uh, with type 1 diabetes at the age of eight years, uh, which means since three years. His hemoglobin A1C at that time was uh, elevated. He was uh, started on uh, multiple daily uh, insulin, basal, bolus, regimen, glargine, and novorabid. His weight was minus 1.8 standard deviation, uh, standard deviation, but his height is markedly decreased minus uh, 3.2 uh, standard deviation. So he is a markedly uh, short stature. So uh, we need to know why he is uh, markedly short uh, like uh, this one. So we are facing a case of uh, type 1 diabetes and uh, short stature. Our assessment was uh, with detailed history. A starting age of short stature was noticed by the parents uh, shortly after the diagnosis of diabetes, and they thought that me should, uh, this is, uh, could be because of the diabetes. Uh, he has good uh, birth weight, no other chronic illness, no drugs, good school performance, psychological status, of course, he was not happy uh, because of his short stature. He has good nutritional history, not on low carb diet, as low carb diet can cause filtering of growth and uh, deceleration of weight and height. Uh, family history was uh, negative. Parents asked for medical advice because of his short stature. Uh, وفي الوقت دوت تعمل البيزل انفستيجيشن ات ووز نورمال تايرويد فانكشن تيست اولسو وير نورمال اند ايفن انتي تايرويد انتي باديز جروث هرمون ستيموليشن تيست يوزنج كولونيتين هي ديد جروث هرمون ستيموليشن تيست اند ذا بي كوز 5.3 اند هي ووز ستارتد اون جروث هرمون تريتمنت فور اباوت 1 يير بيرنتس ديدنت نوتس اني سيجنيفيكانت امبروفمنت ثرو ذيس يير سو وي نيد تو اسك ذيس ووز رايت ديسيجن اور not a right decision. To uh, know this is right decision or not, we have to evaluate what is the causes of poor growth in type 1 diabetes. Uh, we have to exclude in any case of type 1 diabetes with short stature, the poor glycemic control first, chronic complication like nephropathy and associated conditions like hypothyroidism, celiac disease, undernutrition, low carb count, vitamin D deficiency, and psychosocial problems. Regarding the uh, glycemic control of this case, he's not uh, very good controlled. His hemoglobin A1C was uh, 8.2, uh, and the previous hemoglobin A1C was uh, ranging from 7.5 to 8.5, but this is not um, explain uh, that his uh, standard division is more than minus three, is really short stature. Uh, we don't have a lot of uh, uh, recordings, our previous recordings of weight and height, but the parents was uh, sure about the uh, age of four and a half year that he was completely normal. So there is marked deceleration from the height. Investigation showed uh, all basic in basal investigation were normal, thyroid function test also, total IgE normal, but anti-tissue transglutaminase IgE was high, significantly high, more than 100. Of course, we did endoscopy because biopsy of a small intestine is the best way to diagnose celiac disease, and it came positive for celiac disease. So let's sum it up. Hamza, 11 years old boy with type 1 diabetes since three years. He is short stature minus 3.2 standard deviation, wrongly treated with growth hormone for his short stature, and the diagnosis celiac 
disease. Our plan, of course, is to put him on gluten-free uh, diet, as it is usually associated with marked improvement of linear growth. For most people, this diet stops the symptoms, heal the existing intestinal damage, and prevent further damage. We, uh, he received full structure diabetes education, good metabolic and diabetes control, vitamin D supplementation, and follow-up. And the outcome was markedly improvement of his standard diffusion after one and a half year of follow-up. His height uh, was minus 3.2 and now minus 1.7 standard definition. And his weight also increased from minus 1.8 standard deviation to minus 1.3. And this is his growth chart. He's still less than the target height, but we are hoping he will uh, got it, inshallah. Celiac disease is being increasingly diagnosed. The prevalence rate is really rising. It's a condition in which damage of the small intestines so unable to take any nutrients. There is classical, of course, a manifestation of celiac disease. We all know the diarrhea, abdominal pain, uh, constipation, vomiting, weight loss, short stature, anemia, osteopenia, muscular atrophy, peripheral neuropathy. But clinical manifestation can be extremely variable. And then in a tip with an iceberg, ممكن uh, a celiac disease with no any symptoms, like in silent celiac disease or latent celiac disease. So it is not uncommon for celiac disease to be wrecking in patient digestive tract while showing no apparent symptoms. This form is called silent celiac disease. Short stature could be the only presenting symptom. So please don't wait for this full blown picture to diagnose celiac disease or start even for investigated. We have to know that celiac autoimmunity should be uh, routinely screened for any case of type one diabetes and is bad guidelines. Ask it for this, even to start for uh, screening for celiac disease from the time of diagnosis, not wait for the symptoms. And at least after type one diabetes duration from two to five years or sooner if symptomatic or first degree relative with celiac disease. But this is really changing, uh, challenging, sorry, uh, in the management because celiac uh, gluten-free diet is really expensive. It is cost more than their gluten containing equals. And the availability also, في بعض المحافظات زي القاهرة واسكندرية بدأت توفر الجلوتين فري آيتمز هي غالية جدا بس بدأت توفرها لكن طبعا في كتير في الأقاليم والأماكن المنعزلة بيبقى في صعوبة جدا في الحصول على الجلوتين فري دايت حتى في السكول حتى برا بيناشدوا بأن لازم يكون الشيلدرن ليهم الحق في أن هم يحصلوا على جلوتين فري آلترناتيفز سايكولوجيكال امباكت نتخيل ان الحالة بتصارع يوميا وفي ستريسز كل يوم day to day uh, for management of diabetes وهيبقى في ستريس تاني ان هما يكونوا كمان عندهم ياخدوا gluten free diet ويحصلوا عليه اصلا فالموضوع ده بيعمل anxiety وستريس قوي جدا للبيرنس وبيعمل some sort social isolation سواء للبيرنس او البيرنس والتشايلد لان التشايلد بيبقى في مجتمعات وبياكل اكل مختلف عن الحالات التانية. So please, our aim of this presentation to draw attention to celiac autoimmunity should be routinely screened for any case of type 1 diabetes at the time of diagnosis. Don't wait for symptoms. Management of celiac disease will improve symptoms and increase weight and decrease the risk of osteopenia, malignant lymphoma, and significantly improve the glycemic control. Testing early when growth failure, uh, failure or filters start for hypothyroidism and celiac disease for any case of diabetes. Two growth hormone provocation tests are needed for diagnosis of growth hormone deficiency and should be less than seven exclude poor glycemic control, nutritional, and the chronic illness before jumping for growth hormone treatment. Please support the cases of celiac disease because they think about all gluten-containing diet while they are with us. And thank you. شكرا جدا دكتوره خدود دلوقتي مع رابع كيس احب احب واتشرف